We are saved by faith alone. We are not saved by works. But what you need to understand is that a person who has been truly saved has been born again. They have become a new creature. God has done a tremendous work in them to demonstrate His power. He has made them into new creatures with new affections, new desires to serve Christ and to be holy. Has He done that to you? Let me ask you a question. Do you look at the world and long to be like the world, act like the world, talk like the world, dress like the world, have the world's respect and the world's esteem? If you're that way, you ought to be terrified because that just could be evidence that God has not done a work in you. If God's power cannot be seen in your life, leading you to greater and greater holiness, then maybe there is no power of God in your life that he has not regenerated your heart. You are not born again. You are not a Christian because he says, I am going to save people. Why? To demonstrate to the world how powerful I am, not only in saving their souls, but in transforming their lives. Is God transforming your life? Christians are not sinless. Christians are not perfect. Christians will struggle with sin and Christians can even fall. But in the midst of that weakness, it will be evident that God is working. God is teaching. God is disciplining and God is bringing them to greater and greater heights of Christian maturity and holiness. Is that you? Since you professed faith in Christ, are your desires for Christ growing? Are your desires for holiness growing? Is God's power in transforming your life evident? Are you becoming less and less like the world and more and more like Christ? Or are you becoming more and more like the world? When God truly saves a person, what does he do? He begins to work in them. With what purpose? to pull them out of the world, to pull them out of worldliness, to pull them out of sin and to bring them to himself. Now, let me ask you a question. Is that obvious in your life? Do you see God working in your life to get more and more of the world out of you? And is God drawing you more and more to himself? and conformity to his image. If you have truly believed in Christ unto salvation, then God will be working in you to make you holy. If there is no evidence that God is working in you to make you holy, there is a good chance that you have not truly been converted. When God saves a person, he is cutting them off from what? from the world. What is the world? Everything in, on this planet, every idea, every thought, every word, every action that contradicts God's will and God's nature. Everything on this earth that opposes God. When God truly saves a person, he cuts them off from that and he begins to separate them little by little, changing their life, getting the worldliness out of their life and drawing them unto himself. Holiness means to be separated from the world. Christian, one of the purposes of the scriptures is to teach us what God hates so that we will run away from it. Make no mistake, there can be no friendship with God and the world. And between the believer, there can be no friendship between the believer and the world. If God is truly working in you, he is going to use his word and the power of his spirit to do what? To reveal to you what is wrong in this world and to draw you away from it. If you want God, you're going to have to let go of the world. And if you do not want to let go of the world because you love the world, then know this, the love of the father is not in you.